What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with a quick Hackintosh tip for you. This video is going to be all about using a DSDT to get a fully functional system. So now what is a DSDT? Basically it's the fastest way and the easiest way to get a fully functional system and that's because a DSDT file is motherboard and BIOS specific. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean by that. I'm going to pull up TonyMacX86.com here and I'm going to go ahead and click on the DSDT database here. Now if you checked out part 2 of my Hackintosh from start to finish series you'll know that I told you to pick a motherboard that was on this list and that's because we can use a DSDT with it. Now like I said these DSDT files are edited for each motherboard and each BIOS revision of that motherboard as you can see right here we, they go very in depth and now these basically ensure that your motherboard will be able to talk to OS 10 at the best of its ability. So I'm going to go ahead and look at my motherboard right here. I have a gigabyte socket 1366 it's an X58A UD3R revision 2.0 and I'm currently on F I believe FG so I'm going to go ahead and download that uh, DSDT file and as you can see right down here it actually downloaded to my downloads folder so I'm going to go ahead and drag that to my desktop. Now when you go ahead and use a DSDT file you want to rename them to DSDT.AML and go ahead and just leave it on your desktop. That's all you really have to do except now we have to open up MultiBeast which by the way I went very in depth with in my last quick Hackintosh tip so go ahead and check that out on my channel if you missed it. So now the DSDT from here is very easy to install. All you simply do is install user DSDT and that will actually look to the desktop and install this guy. And if you'll notice what that pretty much will do is move that file to this extra folder and place it right here. Now that will load every time OS X boots up and so from there you'll just have a pretty much fully functional system. But one thing to keep in mind is that when you install a user DSDT you will not have either Ethernet or audio drivers. So what this means is that you have to install them manually. So for example when I bought my motherboard I looked very closely at both the Ethernet and the audio chipsets. So mine, I'm um, going to go ahead and drop down here, Kext, Audio, Realtek. So when using a user DSDT I typically have to install the HDA and the HDA rollback. That will get me audio working. So for the sake of using a DSDT you obviously really don't have to worry about non-DSDT HDA enablers because we are indeed using a DSDT. So depending on your motherboard and your chipset and everything like that you could install some of these. I believe these are just updated ones so those aren't required but um, I haven't really experimented with them but I do have an ALC 889 audio chipset. But now moving on to network I have a Realtek 8111E. Uh, chipset so mine falls under the links to max real text so once I install the uh, this links to max Ethernet text and my audio and I hit continue the next time I boot up everything should work flawlessly for you so that's really all there is to using a DSDT simply download it from the database rename it to DSDT.AML place it on the desktop come up here to MultiBeast run the user DSDT install install audio and network you can also do things like USB 3.0 as well, those aren't included in the DSDT. But if you do want to know everything that's included in the user DSDT install, simply click on it and then you can actually see everything that it includes right down here. So there you guys go, there's my quick Hackintosh tip for the day for using a DSDT. Hopefully your system will be fully up and running upon installing your DSDT. So thank you guys very much for watching, I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. Also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com if you're not already here and at RoachTechnology on Twitter. And I'll see you guys in my next video.